A good Thursday morning. I'm 25 News Morning Reporter Jolie Rodriguez. Here's a look at your top local headlines in today's 25 News Fastcast. First up, the Morton Police Department reported five local businesses sold alcohol to minors during recent compliance checks. Grass Bowl Tavern, Veranda, La Fiesta, the Liquor Station, and the Aldi on Portland Street have all sold liquor to at least two minors all earlier this month. Sergeant Mike Foster from Morton Police Department say no arrests have been made and the minors didn't use fake IDs. The employees who sold the alcohol at those locations will now each be fined $200. Sonia Massey's death at the hands of a sheriff's deputy has raised questions about what police policies are in place for a confrontational situation like that. Yesterday, law enforcement groups wanted to answer those questions in McLean County. The discussion was moderated by the Public Safety and Community Relations Board. And three years have passed since ISU master's student Jelani Day went missing and was found dead weeks later. His mother says she is still trying to find out what happened to her son. Since his death, Day's family created the Jelani Day Foundation to fight for equity and justice for missing people of color. A bill also passed in Illinois in March of 2022 that is now law requiring county coroners or medical examiners to notify the FBI when human remains are not identified within 72 hours. You can find these stories and more local news at 25newsnow.com or on the 25 News app. Just head to the App Store and search for the WEEK 25 News app.